fourth example, we're going to find the volume of the octahedron. Now we know the octahedron is a regular solid, a regular polyhedron with eight sides. So I have four sides up here, and I have four sides for this bottom part. Okay, so we're just going to, let's break this up into two solids, two pyramids. Now because it's a regular solid, I know that all sides, all the edges, have um, a measure of 10 centimeters. This right here is a slant height. It's not the height of the actual um, solid. Okay, so again, we're gonna, let's break this up into two pyramids. Okay, and then we're just gonna add them together or multiply. If we find the volume of one of the pyramids, let's say the top half, the top half and the bottom half are exactly the same. So we're just, we could take this uh, volume and then just multiply it by two to find the whole thing. Okay. So okay, again, I'm just gonna use a I'm gonna find the volume of the top half, the pyramid at the top part of it. So then here is the base. It's regular. So it's gonna be um, all the sides are gonna have a measure of 10 centimeters. And then uh, something like that. Just do this one over. Okay. Now, I need to find the actual height of the solid. So, from here all the way down to here, to the center. I know that that and this is the slant height, right? The slant height has a measure of 8.7. This face right here, this is 10, this is 8.7. Okay, let me just draw these sides blue so that you know it's this right here with this as a slant height, the red as a slant height. So this is 8.7. This is 10, because all the sides are 10. Then this is going to have, or half of this is going to be 5 centimeters long, right? So then using Pythagorean theorem, this became 8.7. So 8.7, uh, this is 5, because it's halfway, right? It's halfway of the side, so this is 5. This is 8.7, okay? Then what's this right here? Isn't that also... 10, right? So then the height of that is going to be 10 because a right triangle, if we have 5, 10, or 5, and then 8.7, then the hypotenuse is 10, right? So it's all going to be the same. Okay, the height is also 10. The volume of this pyramid is one-third area of the base times the height. So it's one third. Area of the base is 10 times 10, right? Because it's um, a square. 10 times 10. And then the height is 10, right? Now, again, I'm taking this whole thing and cutting it in half to find the upper part, the volume of the upper part. I'm now going to take all this, okay, whatever that is, the volume, and then multiply it by two to find the area of the whole thing, right? So the volume of the solid, okay, the volume, this is the volume um, formula, the volume of the solid is going to be one third times the area of the base times the height, and then times two because it's gonna be um it's as if I'm taking this whole volume and then um, adding it to this volume. And that's just times two because they're the same. Okay, so ten times ten is a hundred, times ten is a thousand. One third times a thousand 
times two. Okay, this is 2,000 divided by three. And then using a calculator, the volume is 666.37. Centimeters cubed. Okay. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com.